Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video we're going to put together our cute little Santa ornament. So here is the main structure, and we're going to begin by just taking and creasing everything at the score marks. So go ahead and do that. This is all pretty much one piece here for the main structure, so that's going to make assembly nice and easy nice and quick okay and there's really nothing too crazy about the assembly on this we've got a little um, little hexagon here on top you've got some tiny little tabs on top too that you want to ensure that you get nice and folded so basically what we're going to do we're going to leave this top and bottom part for last this tab here, we're going to glue to the inside of this side here, okay? And we can actually do this flat, and I would actually prefer that you do because it'll just be a little more accurate. We'll start with it flat, but then we'll kind of bring it back up. So, so go ahead and get your glue down. I'm going to make sure that we get plenty of coverage on the main part of the tab and then I'm going to put a little line up along the edge that I'm going to go ahead and spread out up to the very edge. Okay, and I'm just going to put this down flat and get that glued nicely. Okay, and while it's still sort of half set. I'm going to fold it over just to make sure that it's nice and flush that way as well, which it is. So it should look like that. That looks great. Okay. And what we can go ahead and do is let's actually close up the bottom of this first. So what we want to do, and in this case, we're going to have to do this all in one shot which is fine. So we'll move the, the giant bottom part of it over. Let's get a nice thin line of glue on all of these tabs. And then I'm gonna do one line right along the edge to make sure that that closes up nicely. And if it doesn't, there's something we can do to make sure that it looks nice and perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that glue and spread it right out to the edge. Okay. Just like that. Clean up any excess that may have kind of spilled over and go ahead and close it up. It's okay if you use the pointy end for leverage on your table, that's totally fine. Just push down all the way around and try to get that nice and sandwiched. Do your best to make it as perfect as possible. Okay, and then you can kind of put it down like that to add even pressure all the way around. And if by chance, and it's probably more likely that it will happen this way than not. If you have any seams here that just don't look great, like that one, I didn't do a very good job on that one. So grab a razor blade, grab a spare spatula, or in this case, I'm using my pick-me-up tool. I'm gonna flatten that out a little bit. And that actually isn't the most flat thing that I have, but it should actually serve its purpose here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down on this little felt pad. And I'm just going to take and put a little tiny bit of glue on one side of this and just kind of sneak it up under there, under one of those sides there that just kind of lifting up. And then I'm just going to push that down in that little spot there and hold it down until it sets nicely and looks nice and clean. Okay, um, you could actually, if you wanted to, if you have a 
spare little piece of paper or something because the paper is pretty thin too. If you don't have a razor blade or just cut off a little strip of paper just like that and you can actually even use that to kind of get some of that glue under there. This AC cardstock is pretty thick and nice and rigid so I can just kind of use that as almost like a little paintbrush to brush my glue underneath and in between the two pieces of paper there. Okay. And, you know, since we're more than likely um, going to be giving these as gifts or just because they're going on our own trees, I want to make them really nice. So let's take our time and polish, make it as polished as possible. Like that, you can still see a little bit of uh, dark under there and I don't I don't really like that so I'm kind of squeezing it too to make that paper um, separate a little bit more okay just rub off the excess and then push down and hold until you've got a nice clean seam okay all right so there is our main structure and at this point you can go ahead and close up the top as well now, if this isn't perfect, that's okay, because we're actually gonna be putting a cute little pom-pom on top of this. So this will be nicely hidden. But I'm gonna go ahead and dab this, spread that glue out a little bit, and just close that up. And do your best to make sure that that is nice and aligned with the rest of the, uh, well, with all the different angles, just make sure that that's nice and flush on all sides. And hold that down until it's fully dry. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so we've got that. That's all ready to go. <clears throat> and at this point, what we can go ahead and do is begin working on um, our actual Santa. Well, before we do that, let's put the bottom little accent on there. <clears throat> this is like a white diamond paper. Um, you'll notice that there are some score lines on there. So get those nice and scored, just folded. And you'll notice on your project, you can see it very vividly there. There's two little cutouts there, okay? And that is to help with the positioning of this piece here. This peach color is gonna be his face. So this is the front. Now what we want to do is when we position this, we want to make sure that these, um, the endpoints here are on the sides. We don't want to try, we don't want to put them here in case we misglue something and then we see red there. We want to try to make this as polished as possible. So this middle piece is going to go right on the front panel here or on the front part of the main structure. And that's just going to go on the bottom like that. Okay. So we can go ahead and get our glue on there. Don't be pretty subtle with the glue. You don't need to be overly generous with it. Get enough on there just to hold it in place. And that should be perfect. You can leave this flat on your table. And I'm putting my thumbs at the bottom of this so that as I'm aligning this, I can kind of feel once it's right up on the edge of that. Okay, and then just kind of Use your fingers as a guide just to make sure that you've got that nice and aligned at the bottom there, okay? And mine looks pretty good. I'm just kind of pulling it down just a touch just to make sure that that is properly aligned. We ran this through an embossing folder. It's a crackle folder, which we actually used um, a lot recently. We used it for Halloween. We used it for fall. And we're using it on now. Just kind of like the texture that that gives. Okay, and now let's put the back on. Same process. We'll start, obviously, in the center here. The middle part of this is going to go in that center one, or the back of the main structure. So get your glue on the back of this. If you feel that you've maybe put too much on there, just kind of spread it and thin it out a little bit so that you don't get a bunch of glue squirting out. Okay, this is the middle. You can see the other two sides. And I'm just going to repeat that process. And we're putting this down first because as we begin to build Santa's face and his beard, 
part of the beard is actually going to overlap this. So we want to make sure that we get this down first. Okay. And there we go. All right. So bottom of that is in place. Now this is the bottom bottom. We have holes here because we're actually going to put little jingle bells on some string hanging from that, which is going to be really cool. Um, so at this point, we can go ahead and begin putting together his face. Okay. So, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this piece down. And again, you notice that there are two little notches there and that's going to help us with the alignment of this piece here. So you want to go ahead and get your glue on the back of this and just don't overdo it because you don't want that glue leaking out and just get that nice and butted up against the little indicators there. Okay. Just that should match up with this side perfectly. When you run your finger along there, it should be pretty perfect. Okay. So that is the base of his face. And then we're going to need this piece next. Okay. And this is his hair actually. And you want to go ahead and crease these at the little score marks here. And what you can do to make Santa even more cool looking is just kind of curl his hair up. I've got a uh, quarter inch dowel here and I'm just kind of wrapping it around there to make his hair kind of stand up. It's really cute. I also took a turquoise uh, ink and ink the tips of his hair. And this is a nice white glitter paper. Okay. So this is going to go like this. And again, you're just going to follow these little scallops here and that's going to help you with the placement. Okay. And it's going to get wrapped around like that. And it should meet pretty perfectly all the way around. Okay. So, and all we need to do with this piece is apply glue just to and uh, around just below the little scalloped area. You can go a little bit down, but you don't need to overdo it on the glue. Okay. I think that's plenty. I'm going to dab it a little bit. You got a little bit too much there in the center. You don't want to put glue on the actual uh, tips of the hair because we want those to flare out. Okay. So again, get that matched up with the scallop. Make sure it's nice and centered there and then just wrap the rest of it around like so. And it should match up nicely on the back. Okay. There we go. Pretty much perfect back there. There's going to be a little tiny bit of a gap because, you know, it's not connected, but it's pretty darn good. Okay. So just kind of hold that in place. And after everything's said and done, once we get everything together, you probably will want to take these and curl these a little bit more. Give this a chance to really set though, before we start messing with that, just to add some more dimension to this piece. Okay. So now that we have um, his hair on, we have a, another little accent piece with some, uh, some crinkle on there. Now you'll notice that you've got scallops on the top, scallops on the bottom, scallops on the bottom. There's one section that does not have scallops on the bottom, this section here. And that is the section that you're going to line up, um, on the front of this piece here. Okay. So it's like, it's kind of like the, uh, the little, uh, um, well, the little white part of his hat basically. Okay. So just go ahead and just get a little bit of glue on this piece here. Take your time. You don't need a lot. Okay. I'm just going to dab it a little bit, spread that glue out. And remember just to make sure that you get this piece on the face, on the front, get that aligned first. 
Okay, just push and hold that down for a second. Make sure it's nice and aligned and then go ahead and wrap the rest of it around following the existing scallops that are already there for you. And that is your little guide to make sure that you get it in the right spot. And just hold that down until it sets. Oops. And just be patient while that sets. I'm actually gluing um, this down to this glitter paper. And sometimes it's a little tough to, well, it's not tough. It just takes a little bit longer for that glue to set on the glitter because it's plastic basically from what I've recently discovered about glitter. Okay. All right. So there's Santa. Um, and now we're going to, we're going to work on his beard. Okay. And here's his little nose and there's four pieces to his beard. This is the little pom pom that's going to go on top. We're going to probably hot glue that. Okay. And then we'll work on the little bells here. Okay. So for Santa's beard, um, basically what we're doing is layering this like so. So we've got the main piece here. We've got these two pieces and you'll notice that um, there's these little swoops here. Um, I, don't, I don't know what you want to call them. Um, just little, um, really wide looking use, just shaped like this, so almost like a, a half of an ellipse. Okay. And these two pieces get stacked on each other like this. Okay. Now we're going to really shape this and train this. Okay. You can glue it on like this. You can pop dot it. Okay. So these two pieces go on like this. And then this little section here, lines up with this little section here like so. And then these little pieces that I was talking about earlier line up just below where his mouth is. Okay. This little cutout is his mouth basically. So it goes like that. And then this is going to go on top and that's kind of his mustache. Okay. And that's going to go right over that part there. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my dowel and I'm going to, I'm going to train these pieces. Okay. Cause I want his, I want his hair and I want his mustache to really flare out and give this thing a really whimsy look. And I just want this thing to have a lot more dimension. Okay. So this piece here, that's the part, that's his main mustache there. This is his beard. Okay. So this part here, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and curl these three main pieces out like that, maybe a little bit more actually like that. Okay. And then this piece, I'm just going to take, and I'm going to curl the bottom out and make that curl even more pronounced. And this guy here, I'm just going to curl this a little tiny bit. Okay. Just like that. All right. So you can go ahead and begin layering this. Um, what I'm going to do with this piece, I'm going to glue these two pieces together first, kind of like that. And actually I want this to stick out even more like that. Okay. So I'm going to get these two pieces glued together and all you really want to do, and I want even more of that sticking out like that. Okay. So that looks cool like that. Okay. So in essence, well, let me just double check my work here. Okay. That looks good. All right. So we're just going to be putting glue just on this little section here. I'm just going to put glue right about here. I'm going to dab that. All right. And we're just matching up this little cutout part here, this little swoop, I'll call it. I'm going to make sure that those two pieces are nice and aligned. And I'm just going to hold that between my fingers because I'm gluing um, glitter to glitter right now. And that sometimes takes a little bit longer than if we were just gluing paper to paper. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's, let's just give that a second to set. And now this part here. Okay. I want this to, I want this to flare out this way too, a little bit. I'm just going to wrap that around my dowel Let me get a thicker dowel so I don't crease this piece. 
I really want his beard to really pop. Okay, so we're going to glue that. And I'm going to curl this whole piece back more. Like that. There we go. Okay, so you see how that's kind of sticking out. Okay. Kind of like that. So we really only need to put glue on this top section here. Let's just get glue on this section here, right about up to there. Okay, and this is a new bottle, so it's really globbing out right now, which is okay as long as you spread it thin. But if you don't, with a new bottle, you can get a little out of hand. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get that glued down. All right. Okay, so his beard is almost complete. We're going to wrap this up by gluing his mustache to the top section. And then for a little, for even more dimension, I'm going to add a little foam square to make his nose really protrude. Okay, so make sure that you get that nice and lined up with that little little piece right there. Make sure that you're not obstructing his little mouth there. You can see the, the mouth right there. Just hold that in place. Let that dry. It looks so festive with that glitter, especially with that turquoise inking. Okay, so I'm going to grab a foam square here. Now this is a little bit too big for my liking, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim it in half, or maybe just a third, and put it on the back of his nose. Like that. I'm going to peel that off. And we're going to get his nose in place. The tip um, should go at the bottom. So let's just place that nicely on there. Okay, so his beard with his nose are complete. And we can go ahead and get that glued in place. And we know that we're getting it in the right place because. We have a little hole here that matches up with that hole. And this whole thing is going to be pretty much covering this little area here. So just get your glue around his mouth. We're going to let his beard kind of hang and just be loose. So we're not going to put any, we're not going to put glue anywhere else. Just up to that part there. Okay, so just hold that in place. There we go. His eyeballs were really tiny. So what I'm going to do is either with a marker or maybe with some black um, liquid pearls, probably just draw them in. Just give them two nice little cute little beady eyes. Okay. And all that's really left to do at this point is, um, you know, just embellish this thing. I'm going to put a little, uh, uh, little gold. Uh, rhinestone on here or something and then we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do the little bells All right, so that is looking really cute so far. All right, so again, we're gonna hot glue that Okay, and now um, Before we do the bells, you know as far as the um, as far as hanging this goes, you're just gonna take your um, Your string or your wire or whatever it is that you know, you want to use and if you want, um, you might want to get a paper clip and just maybe glue or just use some tape to get one end of, to get one end of the, um, the string in there because this, this worked out nicely for me, obviously, this time around. And just tie a little knot to get that in place and decide how long you want to make it. Okay, so I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to leave a little extra room for mine because I still have to take photographs of all these. Okay, but you get the idea. That's how you kind of finish this. Okay, so as far as our jingle bells go, grab your cord or your wire or um, twine, whatever it is you're 
going to be using. And let's just get the first jingle bell attached. Okay, and leave a little, if you're using this weird cord, leave a little excess there because this stuff tends to want to unravel and you definitely don't want to cut it too short here at the bottom because it will definitely unravel as it already is starting to. So I'm gonna not play with it too much. Okay, once you get your little jingle bell on there, just kind of measure it out. Um, I'd go about two and a half inches on one of them, maybe three inches on another one, and maybe two inches on another one. So let's just, let's get our jingle bells done first and then we can go ahead and show you how to position them and how to get them in place. So I'm gonna get this glued on here, or not glued, but tied on. Like I said, leave a little excess there. And you may wanna just knot it twice, or I mean tie it twice just to hold it. I think this one's, this one's doing okay with just one. Just again, I wouldn't cut this too close to where you tied it, because that happens. Okay, so again, if you're using twine, you probably could get away with that. Um, in this case, I think with this one, I may need to just double knot this, just so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then I know that with certain cords, you can kind of grab a lighter and just kind of melt the edge of it, the tip of it, so that it doesn't, you know, come apart. All right, so this one here, we did this one at about two and a half. This green one, this bigger one, it's gonna be my big one here. So I'm gonna go about three inches. I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack because we're gonna tie a little knot at the end so that it stays in place. And grab my last one here and Get that right through and just tie, I'm gonna double knot this one as well, just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so just tie your jingle bell and cut off the edge of it there like that. And just make this one somewhere in between those two. That's good. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna feed it through this little hole here. And you can either tape it, or if you want, you can just tie a knot so it doesn't fall through. You may wanna do both, it's up to you. This cord is kind of a pain in the butt to work with. Okay, so just work that little knot all the way up to the tip if you can and just and that is actually still going to try to fall through so that is why i grabbed some tape okay we just want to go ahead and just tape that down so it doesn't move and don't worry about it being pretty you're not going to see it because we're going to glue that um, that's going to get glued to the bottom and it's not even going to be visible so in this case, because this cord is a little difficult to work with, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tie that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape these down. Okay, so just make sure that yeah, that tape is on there nicely. And that's all we really need to be concerned about. Okay, grab your last little jingle bell and feed it through there. So you can see here that this green one is a little bit longer. So as we're putting this one in, if you are taping, kind of pull them taut and figure out what length you want that one. So I'm gonna make that one a little bit shorter just to make it cute. Okay, grab my last piece of tape here. Okay, so I have my I have my three jingle bells in place here. We're gonna go ahead and get this glued right to the bottom here. And again, what we wanna do is make sure that, that that heavier and longer one 
is to the back, okay? Because that's gonna help balance this ornament for us. So just make sure that you've got that hole on the opposite side of Santa's face, okay? So what you can do is I'll just go ahead and put glue on the exterior of this guy here. I wanna make sure that you get that nice and out to the edge and get some on the interior portion as well. And I'm just gonna grip it by the jingle bells and spread that all the way out to the edge. Again, if you have a cleaner way of doing this, I don't mind getting my fingers gluey. I know I've talked to some people that are not a fan, but I don't really seem to care too much. Okay, and then you're just gonna pop that right on the bottom, just making sure that you have a nice even border going all the way around. And this is where not putting the pom-pom on yet, it actually works to your benefit because you can kind of use it as a base. Okay, and just hold that in place until it sets. Of course, if you want to omit the jingle bells, you can, but I don't recommend that. Okay, so there we go. Ornament is pretty much done here. Okay, so I have, um, I have some black diamond stickles. It's kind of like a liquid pearl almost. And all I'm gonna do is just give him two little eyeballs here. Um, just use the nose as your, your center point and just try to make sure that you're making his eyeballs nice and cute. Just two little small dots. Get the closer together without being too close, I think the cuter. Okay, and try to make them symmetrical. If you work better with a marker, feel free to use the marker, but I think that is super cute. Okay, so there's his little eyeball. Uh, again, you wanna hot glue the little pom-pom and your ornament is done. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.